What's up, what's up, word? It's your boy Ma. We're moving up where we build, we help, and we impact for the glory of God and for the good of those that we serve, man. Uh, man, special shout out and big love to everybody that's been liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Man, special shout out to all those who actually came up to me uh, while I was out this weekend and told me that the uh, some of the videos that I've been sharing, man, being a blessing to you, man, that it was the right word at the right time that you really need to hear that. And I just want to give all glory and praise to the Lord Jesus Christ for uh, leading my heart to put out the content because, um, man, uh, if, it, if it wasn't for, for him inspiring it and leading it and directing it, man, it wouldn't be as impactful. But, man, thank you for letting me know uh, that it has been impactful. Uh, and just a reminder to me that I'm on the right path, that I am moving in a direction that I'm supposed to be moving in because it is being a true blessing uh, to you. And so, again, big shout out. Today, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, man, just an experience that me and my fam had this past weekend. As many of you know, my wife and my kids, man, my son, Jace, he do his thing with uh, all the creative arts. My daughter, uh, she's more into the sports thing, so we do the club volleyball deal. Uh, man, this past weekend, they had a tournament in Houston, Texas. Shout out to the fam in H-Town, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so while we were uh, while we were there, uh, man, they, uh, Saturday when they started playing, they beast mode up. Uh, man, it was killing it. Uh, went 5-0, and undefeated on that day. Uh, won 10 uh, sets in a row. Like, didn't drop no sets that day. So they were 5-0 and with matches. 10-0 in sets. They beat everybody 2-0. and out. Boom, 2-0. Two, two, two sets and out. Boom. And so, uh, man, uh, at the end of that day, man, I started reflecting on the season uh, so far. Um, and, man, I think that uh, it's actually representative of a lot of us as far as our lives um and, and and whether it be our goals or um anything like that it could be your life it could be goals but i feel like there's some some relevance and some connection here because uh, this season uh for my daughter's volleyball team began with so much promise so much potential so much excitement man you know you know how the new year start for some of us right man i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna do this it began with so much promise and potential but during the course of trying to live out that potential and trying to reach that promise uh man uh there were some problems that occurred there were some people that got injured uh, uh one person in particular who was a strong score strong hitter that would have added a lot of value uh to the team uh got injured and couldn't play no more so it was out there were other things that occurred other problems that came up uh throughout the season uh there were some uh l less than stellar performances by the team so the performance wasn't up to the didn't meet the level of the promise and the potential that the season started out with uh and then um even though all that was going on even there was some there was some problems and some maybe some poor performance but the girls and the coaches stay locked in the process they continue to come to practice they continue to go to tournaments they continue to have conversations and do mindset activities to build themselves up uh, not just athletically but internally as well and so um, they stayed in the process and in the score in the course of staying in the process and doing the next right thing and the next right thing and the next right thing they begin to gain momentum and they didn't even realize it till on this past Saturday, that momentum manifested with a phenomenal performance uh, on the court. You know what I'm saying? And so just everything came together and began to jail. Man, all that to say to you that I don't know where you are in the in 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 the, in the journey towards uh, building your faith, towards building your family, your finances, uh, your fitness, whatever goals you have set uh, for your life. Uh, I don't know what stage you are in. I don't know if you're at the beginning where it's promise and it's excitement. I don't know if maybe you're at the place where you've hit some problems. I don't know if you're at the place where maybe you didn't perform up to the level that you feel like you need to to obtain the promise and to live out your potential. But I tell you if you stay in the process, man, if you just keep doing, uh, yeah, get up, dust yourself off, and then do the next right thing, and then do the next right thing, and then do the next right thing. And as you do that and keep doing that next right thing, you'll find that you begin to build momentum, and you'll look up, and then you'll be man Jesus in that place that God wants you to be in you'll be uh, experiencing what God wants you to experience in your faith in your family in your fitness in your finances and whatever your goals are uh, and whatever you're trying to press into man so man I want to encourage you I know even if it don't look good right now 
that if you stay locked in and keep doing that next right thing, eventually your, your, your reality, uh, your current experience is going to line up with the promise that God has made to you and to yours, man. So just uh, be encouraged and keep grinding, keep pressing. Uh, man, I pray that God will continue to bless, direct, and protect you as you do your best to keep moving forward in all that God has you to do in this life as we move forward towards the life that is to come. Man, thank you for your time, man. I pray that this was a blessing, man, and that it encouraged you, man. Uh, stay locked in, man. Peace. Yes, sir.